Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to continue our discussion with views in SharePoint by creating a new view from scratch. Let's do it. All right, I want to go back to my all items view. We're now going to show you how to create a new view from scratch for this list. And it's going to take a little bit more time, but we're going to do some cool things here. I'm going to do um, a view that kind of groups these records. And this time, I'm going to group them by this region column. OK, so we want to see a, a view. The manager wants it. They want to be able to see all of the sales, but they want it broken down uh, by region. So we're going to click on our view drop down. We're going to select create new view. We're going to give this view a name. Let's call this by region. I know, super descriptive, right? We're going to make it a public view. And we'll click on create. All right, once our view is created, here we are by region. We are then going to go into the edit current view. And this is where the magic happens. All right, so you'll see here in our view settings, we have our view name. Below the view name, we see a list of columns that we can choose to show or hide on our view. Again, we're not taking data out of the list. We're simply choosing which pieces of data we want to show as part of our view. Now, we labeled this view by region. With that being the case, region is going to be a, a header of each one of our groups. I don't necessarily need to show the region column on every record inside of my view. OK, and you'll, you'll see where this kind of plays a part. So I'm going to remove this check mark, which means the, the region is no longer going to be visible uh, on every row within our list as we're expanding groups. Now, you'll also see a lot of, of metadata that's available for us to add into our view. We have things like who created it, so created by, when was the uh, each record created, uh, you have your modified, modified by. There are different versions of the title column. Uh, you can have just a plain title, a title that gets linked to the item. In our case, we're using the version of the title that's linked to the item with the edit menu, the three little ellipses. So this is the most common version of the title column, um, but depending on the purpose and how your, your view is going to be used, uh, you might opt to use one of these other uh, versions of the of the title column. So pick and choose which columns you want to be part of your view. The next section of customizing your view is going to be the sort. So do you want to define what that sort order is going to be for the records within uh, each group when we create this? Uh, right now we have no sorting applied, so it would just be sorted on entered. Right when when each record was was added to the list, uh, if I wanted to change this and say, you know what, <clears throat> let's sort this thing by the, you know, sales total maybe, and we want to show them in descending order because I want my highest sales to be at the top. All right, the next piece is really cool. We'll we'll cover this one in maybe another segment. I don't know if I have time to get to it today. Um, but working with filters. So I, I mentioned previously, sometimes in a view, you want to see things that were only, you know, modified in the last week or created, you know, new documents that got added within the, the, the last week. Um, that's a great way of using filters. Uh, we did a filtered view just a moment ago by filtering on the region of UK. So uh, behind the scenes, SharePoint actually did this for us and selected this box and said, hey, if the region column equals UK, show those records, okay? And you can add multiple filter criteria. All right, what we wanna do on this one is we want to group. So we're gonna go down here and locate the group by section, expand that section, and we are going to group by, we said region. So we're gonna select region. We're gonna let our group show in uh, ascending order, right? And scroll all the way to the bottom. Click on OK. Hopefully, I'm not hiding it. 
And bada boom, bada bing, we've got our grouped view for our product list. So you'll see here in each group, it tells us what column we're grouping by, so the region, and then the value for each group. So Africa is here, and if I expand Africa, we'll see all of the products that were sold in the Africa region. And note that on this view, remember we took out the region column, so we don't see that repeat of Africa on every one of these rows. Okay. We also said to sort our list by sale total. So within each group, the records are now sorted with the highest sales at the top, descending down to the lowest. And as we check out a few, right, you can expand and collapse the different regions, verify that within each group, they are indeed sorted by their sale total. Down here and check out the UK. The US. So pretty sweet, right? Um, now we're gonna throw you a we'll throw you a freebie here. So boss calls and says, Hey, that new uh view you built us by region for our product sales, fantastic. But hey, I'm getting some heat from the top. We need to show this thing uh not only by region, but then can you can you do that by each person's sales within that region? I know it's a lot to ask, but maybe <clears throat> we got this. So we're going to edit this view. We don't need to, to create a new one. We're going to go to our view dropdown. We're going to say edit current view. Now, before you start this, let that boss know this may take a hot minute, okay? So we'll get to it. Surely by the end of the day, we'll have this knocked out for you. <sighs> get a fresh cup of coffee. Come back in. Scroll down to the group by. You have a second grouping option. We're going to group by, what was it they said they wanted? Oh, the sales staff. So group by sales staff. Get another cup of coffee. All right, we'll click on OK. And let's check out Africa. Whoa, look at that second grouping. There is our sales staff. And we can see Chris's sales. Again, still sorted by the sale total in descending order there, highest to smallest. So, got that manager taken care of. He calls you up. Hey, David, um, we got a problem here. I need to know what each salesperson's, what, what the totals were for, for that. Can you, is there any... It's probably not possible, is it? Let me see what I can do. I'm going to go to the view drop down. We're going to edit that current view. We're going to scroll down to the total section. What are we totaling? Oh, 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 we want the, we want the sale total. Let's give them that. Click on OK. Grab a cup of coffee. Call the manager back up. Hey, man, I think I got that view done for you. So if you check it out here at the very bottom, we get a sum of that product sales for everybody, right? All regions, every salesperson, we got our grand total. Now, as I expand each section, OK, notice here Africa has a sale total of 53,000 and some change. Well, what did Steve sell? Well, if we expand Steve for Africa, he had 10,553. Nice, right? So just a few clicks of the button. We've got a nice uh, grouped view by region, then grouped subgroup of sales staff. And then we threw some totals in. So that's just a few of the things you can do with views uh, in SharePoint. Um, I, I really hope you uh, you know, picked up a, a new tip or trick as we went through. Um, please stop back, check us out as we have more of our Learn for Free Friday videos coming out. Uh, you can also check us out on LinkedIn. Um, follow us there. 
and also follow us on Facebook and uh, visit us at our website, www.tcworkshop.com. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.